Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that returns to CES. Come here, CES 55, of course, live on UFC Fight Pass. It's Matt Bassett. Matt, man, I, I appreciate the time. How things been, man? Very good. Thank you. Actually, uh, just got back from the press conference with CES. Um, they said it would last about an hour. And we started like 15 minutes late, and it went like a little over an hour. And so I I had to hop in my car and speed home to get my son off the bus. And as soon as I got him off the bus, I like pulled in the driveway just as he was getting off the bus. So it's good timing, but that's why uh, that's why I'm a little late to talk to you. So I apologize. Ah, uh, it's 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 all good, man. Uh, first off, to to fight in Hartford, man. What's this mean to you? Oh, it's huge. Um, you know, I just got done telling those guys that um, there's something about fighting down the road from where you were born something about fighting down the road from where you lived <laughs> uh, in the hospital when you had leukemia. Um, you know, there's something about fighting down the road from where you've trained for the past 10 years and you've put in hours upon hours upon hours of, of training just to perfect your craft. Um, I don't, I don't think it, it could have been CES it could have been reality fighting UFC Bellator whatever it doesn't even matter to me it was all it's all about just the city that i'm fighting in uh, at this point um and it's obviously huge for me and the ces making this happen coming to hartford contacting me um to be on the card was just it's awesome man i'm i'm in a really good spot right now and uh i cannot wait I mean, I've been in the building when you fought Mohegan, and, and your fans travel there. I mean, are, are you? I mean, are you thinking it's going to be like a hundred times that in terms of what the environment's going to be like just for you? You know, fighting. You know, in your backyard. It's it's going to be similar. You know, it's it's not it's not nearly as big as Mohegan. It doesn't have that um, gladiator arena stadium style seating type thing that feel to it you know you look around the cage you're in the cage you look around at the seatings when you're in the cage for a reality fight in your bellator and mohegan and uh it's pretty cool you you see people you see like everybody you know um because of how the seating is and uh you're you're obviously the main attraction and uh the way it's set up is really cool um you know that being said it's not gonna be the same seating but again like i said the fact that it's down the road from all this stuff it's it's incredible and um to be able to see a sea of, of people that know me and have known me before I started fighting MMA, um, that come to, to support me. is just going to be, it's going to be so meaningful and I just can't wait to fight for them. I won't be fighting for myself in two weeks. It's going to be fighting for the fans and you guys are going to see a fucking fight. You're going to see a dog fight out of me. You're going to see the dog. We haven't seen you, uh, since July of last year. I mean, what's, What's this been like for you? Just, you know, professionally to, to kind of, you know, just kind of be sitting there and, and just kind of waiting on, on when the next fight could take place. Uh, you know, it's, I, I'm not a guy that likes to sit out plays. You know, I, I don't like, uh, I never like being the sixth man in basketball. Um, if I'm not on the starting roster in baseball or, or soccer, I always felt like I was left out. Um, so, you know, I, I don't like, I don't like fighting twice a year. The UFC fighting for the UFC was awesome, but fighting two times in one year was is a joke. Uh, I, the only time I ever did that before was when I like broke my thumb or or uh, you know something an injury that took me away from fighting. But like that was the least I ever fought in one year in my entire career. So um, it's just going to be good to get back in there, and then hopefully we can stay busy. I mean, you, you had uh, you were making a push for PFL uh, that, that ultimately at, at this point has not happened. Um, I mean, did you feel like you you, were, you had to become a salesman essentially? Uh, uh, you know, over the past couple months, <laughs> become a salesman. I've been a salesman <laughs> since I started. <laughs> uh, selling tickets, selling shirts, selling yourself. You sell yourself every day. You know, I, even if I'm out with my family and somebody recognizes me, I have to be the mangler. You know what I mean? I have to be the fighter. Um, you know, before I was the mangler, I was just Matt and, uh, and I was cool with that. But now that you gotta, you gotta be constantly selling yourself in the public's eye and, you know, um, that's how you stay, that's how you stay in the public's eye is you gotta constantly be the salesman. 
Is there times like you, you and your wife are out and, and you're just like, man, I just wish no one would recognize me? Of course. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Especially on Sundays. Sundays are our family days. It's cool. I mean, uh, it, it, I get recognized everywhere I go on, on Sundays. But um, it's just it's really nice to have those random Sundays where nobody, I don't see anybody I know or that knows me. I'm like, this is really nice. I get to relax. <laughs> And your opponent here, Tim Dooling, um, you know, you, you look at his record seven and four, but when you look at who he's lost to in his career, we're talking about Julio Arce, Bill Algeo. I mean, these are these are tough dudes. This is this is a guy that has not tried to take an easy fight. Uh, for you, what's your thoughts on him as an opponent? Yeah, I think we're both in the same boat. Obviously, he fights he fights tough fights, and you know, whether he loses them or, or, or wins them, he fights tough fights. He doesn't really fight, uh, you know gimme fights um and i respect that um he's always in the fight you know he went to decision with julio um he lost to Aljo in the second round I, I didn't see video on that but um i'm assuming that it was a really close fight up until then <laughs> you gotta assume um he's he's got a similar style to me in some respects uh, but you know every fight's different and uh you know if he doesn't go out there thinking that he's gonna beat me then i would expect uh, a very one-sided fight, and uh, I don't expect a one-sided fight. That's why I took the fight with him. And I like fights where I have to work for it, and uh, I think he's going to make me work for it a little bit. But I'm, I'm coming for the finish. I mean, we haven't seen him since the end of 2017. That that loss to Bill. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I know which he's had 11 pro fights. I mean, do you think that you might see somebody completely different than than the film you do have on him? Yeah, of course. Um, and in the, the film that he has on me, it's, it's not going to be the same person, um, that he's seen, which is surprising because I've fought over 12 years, 32 fights. I always change a little bit from fight to fight. And, uh, you know, if he's basing it on my past two UFC fights, um, he's going to be very surprised. I think, um, you know, I was not, I took a fight on six days notice, had to cut 20 pounds in six days, five days, actually, uh, for my first. UFC fight and uh, my second fight, I had a pretty bad, I'm not going to disclose this, pretty bad injury. Um, I got the injury the day fucking before I signed the contract to fight Peterson <laughs> the day before and throughout the entire fight camp. I was not wrestling um, at all. I could not wrestle. Um, sprints didn't exist. Um, so we're in a good spot now and uh, I'm. Finally, it's been a while, actually, quite a while since I've felt this good physically. And uh, hopefully I get to showcase the Magler again. Hear what you're saying there about those injuries you had. Like, the, the, my first thought is, how did you manage your weight if you couldn't you know, run sprints and, and, and wrestle? Um, well, instead of sprinting, I was doing the airdyne bike. Um so I was able to like still work really hard. Um, the airbine airbine bike is, is really effective <laughs> getting your cardio to that next level. Um, but I'm one of those person, people that likes being on my feet and being, staying elusive, constantly being mobile when I'm fighting and, uh, sprinting gets me like, gets me light on my feet. Um, and it, I was, I felt like I was really flat footed in my last fight for obvious reasons. Um, but, you know, that, that won't happen this fight. I won't look like Conor McGregor against Khabib, where he just came out flat-footed and just stood there. What What is, I mean, I know you're you're just concerned about this fight, but what's what's on the horizon for you in, in 2019? I mean, have you started to think about what you want this year to be for your MMA career? Um, I want a, a healthy daughter. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, she's coming on May 30th, so... When people come up to me and they say, uh, you know, congratulations, uh, the first thing I'm thinking of is, thanks, she's due May 30th. And more often than not, lately, they've been talking about congratulations on getting this fight in Hartford. I'm excited and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just she's the first thing I think of. So um, I want to be active. As far as anything goes, I want to be active. Um, but it's going to be – I'm not going to be able to make that decision without my wife. Um if she needs me around, then I'm going to be around, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, so my cat comes over and stands on my foot. Get out of here. I'm not going to be, um, 
you know, away from the house if she needs me at the house. So uh, we'll play it by ear. So has the conversation come up, let's say, like a short nose fight was like May 23rd? Do you think you could take it? Ashley's in the kitchen. She heard that one. What do you think? She laughed. <laughs> she laughed. I don't know. I have no idea. It depends on where it is, how much money it is, uh, who it's for, who it's against. Um, I'm always in shape to fight. I mean, clearly, I was in the bed for five days with a hurt back. I got off the uh, cut 20 pounds to fight Barzola um, on six days' notice, and you know we still made it to decision on a guy that is like a you know a workhorse. So I was I'm always in shape. Just depends on what kind of shape am I in. Am I in shape to win the three round fight, or am I in shape to not lose the three round mm-hmm. fight? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But of course, it all goes down here. CES 55 is we're two weeks away from this fight. Matt, man, I really appreciate the time. Uh, good luck uh, coming up here. And uh, of course, uh, your upcoming daughter. Congratulations on that. Uh, let her win. Know they can find you on social media. And of course, those sponsors that help support you, man. He knows where to find me. I don't need to say that stuff anymore. What about you? What's new with you? <laughs> well, you, got, you always interview me. How about a little interview with you? What's new with you, man? You're always calling me, asking questions. Making me look good. How about you? Man, it's, it's a you busy. Shout people out. It's this it's, it's a busy you. it's a busy world for me, man. I just took my nieces over to Disney, and uh, you know, you know this, man. You, you take a kid to somewhere like Disney. It's uh, the joy that's on their face is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You know? even, yeah, but, even my son, who likes video games, he was so excited when we went to Disney. <laughs> he's he's excited, and then he wants to go back to back to the hotel and. and play video games and stuff but it's a it's a different world now but uh you can't kids still love disney you know the crazy thing is they'll enjoy if you're staying on a disney hotel they'll enjoy the hotel as much as they enjoy the theme park oh yeah yeah for sure i uh i went to disney when i had leukemia the make a wish foundation um gave me well, i think it was like a free week for uh-huh. me and my family free week out there free food stay would um at a nice really really nice hotel um for a week and we went to disney all the time every day and it was really cool uh we have a lot of pictures on it and um a lot and i was i was sick at that time but even to this day i can i can remember how much fun i had well i tell my wife i said i think sometimes we take it for granted because you know we can get in the car we can be in disney hour 15 hour and a half you know yeah. where a lot of people have to fly in and, and it just you know it's just it's it's a fun time and I, and I sit there i get more enjoyment just seeing my nieces having a blast than anything else yeah you're you're lucky to have the kids and be that close to disney for sure yeah so but yeah man it's it's always good man i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your fight man and uh as always man i appreciate the time all right brother good talking you. you have a good day